for productivity. Okay, I got it. Okay, for Mr. Sunshine, can you speak up? Okay, I, I believe that we need to highlight or redefine what's the true meaning of being productive. If scrolling um, the timeline is called productive, then it means by um, opening or having an access to a social media can be said productive. But for me, productive in social media, uh, productive as the impact of uh, playing or opening social media means uh, it can carry a uh, multiple uh, motives or motivation because when we look at the story of someone or some friends they just want to be called productive or they want to be seemed productive uh, in fact they do not really um, engage in particular activities they just don't want to be left behind by some other people some friends that they watch uh, keep updating their status uh, in Instagram or in WhatsApp. And they also want to show off that they also, um, they as well not uh, stay in static condition, doing nothing, having no friend, having no place to visit or to go. They just want to be admitted. And that's why this kind of word productive is, uh, is exactly like, it doesn't work when it comes to social media because when, okay, the first time I opened social media, the in the beginning of uh, at the beginning of the day, for example, like morning, I, I keep scrolling. <laughs> I, I I couldn't do anything. I just enjoy watching TikToks or <laughs> everything. <laughs> I just like being stuck to social media. I sometimes uh, easily distracted, and I uh, I left my homework, my assignment, and that's why. It messed up my routine schedule. Uh, I'm getting late, and well, many many kinds of bad impacts that uh, makes me simply say it unproductive uh, due to the impact of social media. I think that's for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you for your opinion, Mr. Sunshine. Um, is there anyone who want to have argument about this topic, about this statement, please? Please raise your hand so I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you you are open your your mic, please. Uh, yes, I want to try to give my opinion. Uh, some people cannot be productive because of social media. Um, I disagree. Uh, because uh, many people uh, make uh, uh, inspirative content like in YouTube, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, and other uh, social media. And for uh, quickly, there's uh, many people for to look it. And I think it's, uh, yeah, like that. Many, uh, many people use this social media about the content creative like that, maybe. Okay. Thank you, Miss Yahya, for your opinion. Is there anyone want to? Okay, Chikoning, Chikoning, please open your mic and speak about this statement. After Mr. Chikoning, uh, it, uh, it be uh, Miss Livia. Ah. Okay, um, thanks for the opportunity and having me to answer this question. Uh, regarding to your question, if we say it's some, it will be happen because not all the people will take like the productive activity, especially in social media. But also, um, I'm uh, agree and disagree in this occasion because as the previous speaker said, um, when we say about the unproductive activities like scrolling uh, announced by Ms. Sun, Mr. Sunshine, yeah, it will be happen for certain citizens in Indonesia. But in the other hand, when we talk about the content, 
uh, in the past, we cannot imagine how you can play a game and you get the money for that. Uh, uh, it's uh, if you say to your parents, your parents will laugh with that. Uh, you are crazy. But nowadays, by playing a games like in and put it in on the YouTube, so you will get the advertisement in your channel and you will pay by a dollar. So it was amazing. So every single person has the opportunity to create their own word. In the other hand, like there are the one of content that you will be silent for two, two hours and there are a lot of viewers at that content. <laughs> oh, it could be. It's like um, funny content, but for the title is um, two hours without doing activities. But the fever is until one million and others, and they get the advertisement and also subscriber. Uh, based on the Jakarta Post article that I read, yeah. In the other hand, researchers say uh, social media create a dopamine. Dopamine it's mean mm. that come out from your brain, and when you are uh, touch with it or interested on something, so you will tend to know more about that. For example, like a lot of um, what's that? A lot of gossip or whatever is it? Is it will be trending <laughs> for Indonesia? Perhaps in YouTube and others like oh, said Nisa Sabian, perhaps <laughs> and the other thing. Yeah, so um, people tend to look for something. Uh, I cannot say that useless. Perhaps it will be useful for them, but um, we cannot determine it is productive for them or is it is isn't productive for them. So it's my, my point, uh, and I'm, I tend to agree and disagree with this question. Thank you for your great opinion, Mr. Chikoneng, and then Miss Livia, please open your mic. Yeah, I totally agree with the, the opinion that. Uh, some people and maybe a lot of people can can be pro uh, cannot be productive because of the social media. Uh, I found that a lot of people in in my job uh, I I have been volunteering for being a peer counselor and during a lot of counseling sessions I found that teenager especially nowadays and also uh, people like us in our uh, early 20s tend to have like a lot of anxiety sometimes like depression and also some of another uh, psychological disorder that based from the using uh, the usage of social media like they start to comparing themselves to the other person like of course, everyone is unique. We, we actually, we really know that, but because of the impact of using social media, they keep comparing what they have been achieved and what they have and how much money they, they can make and how, how many car or what, what kind of brand that they have with the other person or the other teenager. And that's really dangerous. And also there is a fear of missing out like, what Mr. Sani said that you start to scrolling just because you don't want to get, uh, you you don't want to get left behind because you you don't feel like you have been updated your information because a lot of trending topics always changing every day so they they cannot have a feeling of uh, feeling not being updated is dangerous and then they keep scrolling that and forget about the priority and their, their own responsibility as a student or as a worker, or maybe as a mother to take care of their, their children because of the too much using in social media. That's it, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Olivia, for your great opinion. And okay, uh, move to the Uchi, uh, Ms. Uchi baby. Uh, you can open your mic right now and speak, please. Okay, thanks for the change, uh, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, of course, Miss. Um, all right. Uh, now in this uh, discussion, uh, I am totally agree 
uh, with this statement because uh, but before I want to highlight uh, the social media that I have um, using um, it's uh, Instagram because I I have been stopped using Instagram uh, around a week recently and I feel very very um, stuck it means it automatically drive me crazy it brings me to social media often than before and it struck me to log in again and again over again even i share positive vibe but it attracts me to see how many persons see it and so i feel when i stopped using just like uh, instagram i felt when um i mean i think as a human being especially if, uh, as a woman i feel better than never because i can help my mother to to do the course and clean the house so i think my mental health better than ever when i don't use um, social media often that's it thank you miss fuchi is there anyone want to uh, want to give an argument about this statement okay if there is no again want to give an argument about this and uh, i will try to like uh, uh, give a conclusion about this statement like some people say that they disagree with this uh, statement and some people agree with this statement and uh, it depends on something like um agree because uh it can impact our mental health and also it can uh, there is something like uh fomo like fear of missing out if there, there's someone didn't know the 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 trending topic or something like that and also like uh in, in the side of disagree because some people can be productive in social media because they use social media as a platform to get money from that and guys uh, thank you for all of your argument that was really amazing that was really great and next to the next statement okay this is the statement social media makes people antisocial you can raise your hand if you have an opinion about this okay mr imran khan you can open your mic right your mic right now wait yeah i kind of partially agree with this statement like if you see uh, mostly while traveling, like suppose you are traveling in a bus or in, in KRL, you're going anywhere, or even in your, in your cafe, suppose you are sitting in a cafe, <laughs> you can see most of the people, they are hanging with somebody online, living far away, miles away from them, but they're not talking to somebody next to them. Suppose I'm here and there's my friend here, we are not talking to each other. I am using my, maybe I'm talking to somebody with my phone, he's talking to somebody with his home. So, we are not talking to the people near but far away so it's like we are neglecting the people who are near to us but focusing on the people who are far away so that's kind of social media is making us anti-social we are like for me i don't know who the fuck lives in my neighborhood neighbor i don't know i'm living in this society for more five years and i don't know the name of my neighbor but i know almost like 700 people around the globe Oh, so yeah, that's okay. the kind of, I will say, it's making anti-social with the people around us and more social with people far from us. That's the thing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your opinion. That was great. I got the point. Okay, uh, move to the Mr. Shanshan. You can open your mic right now. Okay, so if uh, what you mean by saying anti-social, it means you totally reject the existence of other people who stays around you then i guess uh, I, I don't think that social media makes uh, antisocial type of people because uh, even though uh, we socialize with others through social media the existence of others around us less or more 
give us as uh, several influences for example even though we came to the cafe and we we have our phone we stuck over there and we connected uh, with uh, we connect ourselves with some people that's not uh, inside the cafe itself i believe that we 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 still get along but with several restriction okay probably we still connect uh, we have some words to talk together because uh, when we come to the cafe, our intention is hanging out with our friends. Of course, there must be something that we are going to talk together. Uh, in regard to having a phone and socializing through social media, it's like uh, the side effect of the gathering because we totally live in a different dimensions. We ha we have a uh, we become more tech savvy. We become more engaging towards social media or online-based activities, and I believe that uh, social media is not um, is not causing us to become stressful toward everyone around us to become more negligent or ignorant toward the circumstances uh, happening around us, and it is actually the other side. We become more sensitive toward our surrounding because every time every moment in every place when we exp uh, when we actually watch something that's totally unique totally surprising uh, we just want to snap and put or uh, how to say to treasure those mm. memories those uh, moments to our social media it's actually like connecting the reality to to the different world to the different Infusions of reality. So, I guess, like, uh, how to say, uh, online is like a different reality that is actually uh, that we experience right now. We change our dimension. We we would like become adapt adapt ourselves to to have two souls into different dimension. So yeah, yeah. In conclusion, I'd like to say that I disagree with this statement. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you for your opinion, Mr. Shanshan. That was great. Uh, is there anyone who want to have a uh, have a good argument about this? Please raise your hand so I can uh, let you speak about this. How about uh, Miss Risma Febriani? Are you there, Miss Risma? Or the mail? The mail? The mail is already open his mic. You can speak. Okay. Uh, how would Mr. Ko? Can you give an opinion about this statement? Uh, all right. Sincerely, I thank everyone and thank because you gave me opportunity to speak about the social media makes people undecision. Uh, regarding to this question, it depends on the people when they care. When they take care with the social, I mean, we can talk via offline. Even though we are using online media to promote ourselves, to make our personal printing hold down. But the problem is when we play or when we do the social media, sometimes we forget to socialize by offline. That is the problem. So we have to educate or we have to expand our knowledge in order to balance in uh, using online or using social media. That's my opinion. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ku. Is there anyone to want to uh, give an opinion about this statement? Okay, Mr. Chikone, you can open your mic, please. Okay, uh, regarding to your question, uh, I think it depends on how much you will in we will be involved in social media. Um, perhaps social media make up makes people anti-social. It will be happen because um, social media is a thing like a gamble or gambling. Perhaps G gambling is good if it and it will be fun if you only utilize it uh, a little. Or perhaps, uh, and it will really bad when you 
have do a gambling for every single hours in your life. But it's only social media. It will be great because the thing that we um, end the conversation or creates how we contact with someone in front of us is because uh, perhaps he or she neglect us. So uh, neglect us mm. by scrolling their handphone. So we follow them <laughs> because we don't have um, the friends that we can create, for example, like in transportation on everything like a train and also perhaps in the car and the other thing or perhaps in terminal and there. Uh, and the social problems um, named as pubbing. Pubbing is, uh, what's that? Is the condition when people try to always be busy uh, in their smartphone. For example, like Mr. Sunshine uh, mentioned before, like in the cafe and also uh, perhaps in the several days later, we will find Ramadan and there are a lot of a meeting like Bookber and others. <laughs> so it will be happen perhaps, but it will be worse. Uh, uh, nowadays, it will be worse because um, social med media is part of our life, especially in coronavirus disease. And we don't have a place to meet our friends perhaps. And also we, um, we try to alter our habits, like we socialize in social platform like this. Perhaps we make a discussion. In the other hand, if we miss someone, so we utilize social media also. <laughs> but I don't know if it will be effect to our real world or not, but pubbing is real. And it depends on how we can manage ourselves to be friendly for whatever the condition is. Perhaps if there are someone try to contact or close with us, so we try to accept it intentionally without um, neglect them as and we scoring the smartphone because if we do that so we will create the anti-social in the, the another way thank you okay thank you thank you mr uh, chikoning for your opinion and next to the miss livia you can open your mic right now okay thank you miss um in in psychology like anti-social disorder is maybe quite different than what the antisocial means in general. Like I know like usually people think that antisocial, antisocial is just people who are shy and don't have the capability to build some connection or to, to start conversation with the other person and also like being ignorant to the other person, like they don't care about what the other person doing and they just uh, keep busy with themselves. So yeah, in, in psychology, it's quite different. Like I might, I might explain a little bit. Then the social personality disorder can, can be diagnosed when you see the people like have a manipulative, like try to deceiving you or like doing something risky, like doing a, a high risk, high risk high-risk behavior or activities, mm -hmm. and also unresponsibility, this responsibility, and also doing aggressive things and try to like uh, make people feel irritable with them. And they also easy to feel irritated by the other person. And also they, they try to, they, they, they usually become impulsive person. Like they don't have a good self-control and also uh, really easy to lose temper. So it's, it's quite the different, but uh, I know the meaning. And I feel a little bit strange, but it's quite dangerous also that uh, usually, usually the YouTuber or like a content creator in a lot of social media, not just in YouTube, like in TikTok and also maybe in Instagram, they, they tend to get more followers and more likes by doing something risky, like climbing climbing the cliff without any safety safety tools or 
uh, taking picture or taking selfie in the peak of the mountain or something or they, they climb the tower and anything anything dangerous and also i found that uh lately in tiktok there is a trend that the teenager in america uh try to make them themselves overdose not not overdose try to make themselves get hallucination by taking too many pills like a lot of pills of some some kind of benadryl like uh, allergic allergic med medication for allergic they take they usually they take one pills they take until three pills and that make them hallucination and they post it in tiktok because they wanna uh, get a lot of follower that being being curious about their expression and a lot of them uh, are getting getting sick and going to hospital because of getting overdose and there is one of them that die because of doing that so it's kind of making them really antisocial in psychological context not just in general context and it's really dangerous there is also another man that uh, kill kill his girlfriend because of he want to get the money from their follower there is a content uh, there is a social media that let the follower pay pay them pay the content creator to do what they want if they do what they what they ask they will send the money and send the yeah some kind of money so the the man uh, do will do anything for the money and the man put the uh, the girlfriend outside outside of the house for around until i think one minute but the degree because it is winter in russia i think and the degree is minus four and then after one minute the girlfriend getting back to the house the girlfriend already not stop breathing so and finally it is reported that the girlfriend is died because of hypothermia so it, is, it is very sad and tragic to know that what people can do in social media to get the attention from the follower from the netizen thank you thank you miss livia for your great opinion okay uh, I will uh, will move to the next uh, statement, but before that, I will try to summarize what what all of you already see. Uh, based on uh, there are some people agree and disagree with this statement, especially like uh, for agree. Uh, yeah, it's because uh, when like Mister Mister uh, Imran said before, uh, when some people gather in the cafe and uh, all the people uh, and some people also like um, try to connect with. Uh, people far away from them, far away from them, but uh, then try to connect with the people next close to them. And also from Mr. Shanshan that uh, didn't uh, disagree with this statement because uh, like maybe they use social media for can to say to saving the moment that they spend together. And from Mr. Kuse that um, uh, we are forget to socialize with the people in offline, but uh, but we always uh, remember to socialize with people in online, and we have to be balanced between offline and online. And also, like Mr. Chikoning, agree with this statement because uh, when sometimes people keep scrolling because uh, they're being neglected by someone next to them, so they always uh, they they become the social and they always scrolling their phone and. Uh, like Mr. Livia also said that uh, in psychology there is um, antisocial. It means that uh, people being unresponsive like uh, is different with our uh, perspective about the antisocial. But uh, Mr. Livia, uh, Miss Livia already explained um, antisocial in psychology what it means. Okay, thank you. And next to the uh, third statement. Can you see this next statement? It says that social media can make some people hurt themselves. Please uh, raise your hand to give an op opinion about this statement. Okay, Mr. Imran, please uh, turn on your mic. Um, I don't have much of the experience like watching, but as Miss Livia said before, like one of the influencers, he 
it was her girlfriend to stand outside in the cold and she died. So that's a, and I have seen a lot of people doing stupid things like taking pictures in not so safe, like standing over the train or something. So for just mere followers, like they will not get anything more than just few followers and like, and people will laugh at them. Like, hey, this is what the fuck this stupid is doing. So just for those moment of appreciation or something like they put their life into danger in the precious life. And maybe they don't care about other, their own life, maybe, but the, the, in most of these cases, others' life is also affected. Maybe their parent or somebody, like uh, a lot of people, they make prank videos, like they go on the public and prank with somebody, touch, touch like I, I saw this one girl, and I, she, just, she just go and touch private part of the boys and sit on the, their lap just to make videos and gain followers. So this way, She's harassing the people on the society, in the public, and hurting the other people. So yeah, it's really bad. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Iman, for, uh, for your opinion. Uh, okay, move to the Mr. Shanshan. You can open your mic right now, please. Thank you. What I consider the most essential thing to discuss when I see and read the statement is that the aftermath, uh, the after effect, of uh, of hurting ourselves okay so uh, for some people i believe that it, it is more about personal reasonings okay or personal motives okay because sometimes uh, hurting ourselves is justifiable because we believe that uh, through many kinds of hurting for example like uh, um, what do you say you try to do to yourself and post it in Instagram, or you try to do some activities that can uh, remarkably or greatly harm you in different way. Uh, some people uh, would like to get a recognition, and they believe this kind of recognition is worth more, or uh, is like equal to the hurting, or even less or even, I mean, like, um, hurting themselves is uh, less or something like below the recognitions that they can obtain when they finally can post it in their Instagram or in their status. Yeah. So what I can, uh, what I can see in regard to this is that uh, I agree that social media can make people hurt themselves, but uh, personally, uh, hurting themselves is uh, does not always mean uh, something bad. Yeah, they can actually embrace uh, the process of sacrificing themselves for getting the compensation, which is in the form of recognition, acceptance, praises, and evaluation from so many people because. The higher the level of the threats, of the uh, the, uh, the more threatening the circumstance, uh, the higher the recognitions that they can obtain from the society or from uh, the followers they have in their social media. So basically, social media, uh, of course, it's like, can you say that social media in another way will not be capable of let people hurt themselves of course yeah it can be it can be it can also be said that way i mean like uh social media has a uh, has a different uh, has also different impact is like a positive impact not to hurt you but to build up your confidence and also influence you to become a positive students and also equip you with several skills from so many influencers in YouTube or or Instagram, giving you more uh, insight, uh, more insight or knowledge about the different things happen at the different uh, area of the world. So basically, it can be a, it, it can be said like uh, I mean like it's possible to be to be said can or cannot make some people hurt themselves. Again, I think that's only thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sunshine.
Okay, I will uh, ask um, pa, uh, Mr. Pasha. Mr. Pasha, I haven't heard. I haven't heard from Mr. Pa Mr. Pasha. Can you open your mic and give an opinion about this statement? Mr. Pasha, are you there? Okay, I think Mr. Pasha uh, doesn't there. Okay, uh, how about Miss Laila? Do you have an opinion about this? about this statement, please open your mic. Okay, hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, of course, Miss Laila. Okay, um, from my opinion, I think uh, social media can make some people hurt themselves. It depends on what happened uh, from them in the social media. Um, some people, uh, I, I saw some people uh, can hurt themselves because of they get bullied from other people. And they get uh, some bad words maybe from others that maybe they look so ugly or maybe they do something bad that people can um, consequences it. So uh, maybe from that and people and um, some, city, some netizens can ask them to maybe to kill themselves or to hurt themselves. That's make maybe they can uh, physically hurt and maybe that's, uh, that can make them mentally hurt too. And that's why they can be physically hurt. And maybe they kill themselves or maybe they hurt themselves uh, because of people ask them to do that. And also for the engagement, maybe uh, in some situation to get more viewers or likes and because of uh, some something they do uh, maybe like they hurt themselves and people like it and people um, make and they make some viewers more viewers and they uh, always do that thing to make themselves to make some viewers because of they always hurt themselves like that Maybe that's okay. my opinion. Okay, thank, thank you. you, Miss Laila, for your opinion. Okay, Mr. Ku already raised her raised his hand. You can open your mic right now. Okay, thanks for the opportunity. I tried to deliver what my NCT was. The social media can make some people hurt themselves. I agree with this statement. Why? Because when we know someone who is popular, of course, sincerely, most of people need existence to express their idea, their uh, lifestyle. But somehow we have to think that you know, we, we can use the different, uh, different way or we can use the unique way how to hold down our personal printing in order to uh, be, be good for your personal printing and also when we know someone who has been popular or who has been famous, we don't think about their, uh, their background or their struggle, how to achieve their goal. So when we can see or we can learn from their struggle, we not only think or we not only look at their success, their success or they succeed in achieving their dreams of course we can learn from their uh, their background or their struggle how to achieve their dreams so we only inquisitive more because of the we are insecure what we what, what we have what we want so for now uh, what what we love do what you do does it it makes pleasant for achieving our goals. That's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ku. Uh, I want to hear from Mr. Ibnu. Can you open your mic to tell? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Suchi, you can speak after Ms. Ibnu. Mr. Ibnu, can you open your mic to, uh, to give an opinion about this statement? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Mr. Ibnu. Uh, social media in the mind is 
uh, a platform, the big platform to the every people in the world. Hello, Mr. Ritno. We cannot hear you. Okay, maybe Mr. Ritno has a trouble in connection. Uh, Ms. Uchi already raised her hand. Please uh, open your mic, Mr. Ms. Uchi. Okay, thank you for the chance. Uh... Social media can make some people hurt themselves. I say yes, uh, because like I said before, mental health is the one thing particularly uh, uh, be, what can I say, the victim. It bothers our mental health, for instance, in friendship, uh, me, uh, I can make example, example, I mean, uh, for myself, when I saw Uh, Miss Grace, you still unmute your privilege. Okay. Uh, thank sorry. you for your reminding, Mr. Sunshine. I'm so sorry. I can I, I forget to uh, turn on my mic. Okay. I will try to summarize the. Okay, Mr. Chikoneng. Do you want to give your opinion? Please go on. Okay. Um. Yeah. I. I will. <laughs> I will add more perhaps because um several uh, issue had mentioned before like recognition in the other hand social comparison perhaps based on the mental illness for certain people but in my addition i will bring it to the law because um social media can bring a people to get in in the prison for example like in in indonesia which um, still difficult or still being difficult to different what is the criticization head speech and in the other hand, whatever is it, for example, like when we say A hey, is a stupid based on our various data that we have mentioned, and they are the government official. So uh, perhaps it will be there is the first of um, meaning in the term of law, like it really happened when JK asked, uh, what, what is the statement? I forget. Um, Jack, uh, Jack asks, is Indonesia get the freedom for criticization? Uh, if the criticization is available, so we can create and we can criticize everyone and everything in Indonesia. But unfortunately, there are a lot of um, people that get in a prison. Uh, perhaps it will be detriment as the term of hurt. <laughs> because um, in my point of view, hurt is not only uh, like um, like utilize a sharp tool, but also when we are in the good condition to the bad condition. So it will be ha happen for social media because we don't have the law that will cover this term. All, all bit in the other hand, government has the intention to revise the ITE bill, but it's um come back not three patient but put on the definition about that so what is the difference between that <laughs> perhaps uh, that is uh, in the other hand like um, we still difficult to determine what is the criticization and also 
Um, and in the other hand, for example, like I will say A is smart, but the fact they don't, uh, they are, they aren't smart or he's not, not smart. So is it criticization or the hatchet or whatever is it? Well, we don't have the definition for that in social media. So that's why um, based on the survey, uh, democracy for Indonesia is gonna be low than before in certain years. <laughs> Yeah, it's for me. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Grace, unmute your microphone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sunshine. Okay, uh, we will move to the next uh, statement that says, Social media has educated me more than my school was. Please raise your hand to respond to this statement. Actually, I haven't heard from Miss Azimatus. Can you open your mic, Miss? Miss Azimatus? Can you open your mic? I think she's not there with us. Okay. How about the Mr. Pasha Ramadan? Can you open your mic to respond to this statement? Hello, Mr. Pasha Ramadan. Okay, I think Mr. Pasha has a trouble connection. How about the others? Can you raise your hand to respond to this statement? Please raise your hand. Okay, I will I will ask Miss Laila. Can you can you give your opinion about this statement, Miss Laila? Uh, okay. I'll try. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, social media has educated me more than my school was. Uh, I think uh, I mean I'm in between. I agree or disagree. Uh, because I think in social media we can uh, know everything that we want and we know everything that we never want because they ever uh, appear even though we never search about that and. But in the school, we have the the subject that that a teacher give us, and even though we don't need even though we don't need it in the real life right now, a uh, teacher give us that subject. But I think that's a different kind of um, educate. I think uh, educate uh, in the social media, we can educate ourselves because of we need that topic we need that uh, material uh, so that we we is looking we'll search in social media and uh, but uh, i think not all of people think the same like me because because uh, some sometimes i i saw my uh, for example my little sister they always look at social media but not for educate herself she just uh, maybe looking for the social media for for fun for uh, just uh, looking for something that really not educate herself like k-pop or anything else um, maybe that's my opinion okay thank you thank you miss Lila. okay mr sunshine you can open your mic right now Uh, Mr. Shanshan, you 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 haven't opened your mic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I Mr. don't know. Sunshine. It's like this is so contagious. <laughs> yeah. It affects me now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I do agree with what has been said by Ami. <laughs> 
that social media is like uh, the source of entertainment where we let our hair down when we want to get some uh, uh, some energy after a nerve-breaking day we want to spoil ourselves the like things by looking at some boys and girls dancing in TikTok, <laughs> some beautiful girls, uh, some handsome boys that would like to show off their body and stuff like that. So I can say uh, readily do so many people, especially teenagers, uh, use social media as the primary base or primary source of their education, insight or knowledges. So I can say that I disagree with this kind of thing because uh, when it comes to school, university, they give you more specific knowledge. Uh, they not only give but also emphasizing the level of the knowledge by demanding you to deepen your uh, your 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 insights to what particular date or particular uh, particular experiences various. Um, when it comes to social media, it's totally up to you. There, be, there will be no, uh, how to say, a force. Uh, it's total freedom for you to select or to choose which one will uh, satisfy your personal desire. So, yeah, I believe that social media can offer you a more flexible and more dynamic uh, interface or, um, how to say, a design of education because uh, they know that uh, social media has its own characteristic for example like it tends to be short brief impactful compact and colorful as well with sophisticated design to attract more people of fewer so that there will be people that share and also look read or yeah something like that okay. uh, and I think, yeah, I think this is, uh, uh, this is the advantages of social media in the delivery of the content. Whether or not the content will harm or will bring more positive impact totally depends on the reader, the viewer, or the one who enjoy or open the social media stuff. I think that's what we thank you. Okay, thank you a lot, Mr. Shen Shen. Okay, I'll move to the Mr. Imran. You can open your mic right now. And then Mr. Angaya after Mr. Imran. Okay, so if I will say social media is like a more of uh, open space. You can like in a school we have a kind of fixed labels. You only you only read those things even if you don't like it or not. You have to study it because it's a part of your syllabus and you have exam. But somehow it, it also good because we have a proper guidance. Like we study the subject, then we take the test and then we score. So we know we actually learning something. It is useful or not, it depend on us. Like people let's say, a lot of people say, whatever we're learning, like algebra and accounts, we never gonna use in life. Nobody know. Like it may, you may, it may motivate you to do something later. Like suppose uh, you studied about farming or something. Uh, like, like I, a few days ago, I re read the news, there was a one woman so she studied microbiology in in college and uh, in like school she studied microbiology or something and then she did some corporate job like marketing job something like totally different from microbiology but later on because of the covid when she lost the job she used that learning of microbiology to start farming like she used earthworm for the farming and now she is earning very good so whatever we learning in school might we use it later on and social media like i don't know about tiktok like honestly i don't feel like tiktok or uh, instagram or these things they educate us ourselves i i don't feel because we feel we are learning when you open instagram there are a lot of pages information pages you keep scrolling you keep learning fact oh this is fact there's a lot of fact pages did you know that did you know that kind of page uh, where they give you a lot of information but you need to ask yourself, what's the use of this knowledge? You, we feel, oh, we are learning a lot of things, but what's the use of knowledge? You just overboarding your mind with a lot of knowledge. That's not, you're also not gonna use it. At the same time, social media has given us freedom to learn anything beyond our financial capacity. Like 
I like for me, I I attend the courses from MIT for the computer science. I am interested in computer science, and MIT has a channel on YouTube, MIT courseware, where you can access the learning of MIT for the free. So that kind of impact social media has. Like I don't have the financial capacity, or I'm not really a good student to score enough to go into MIT. But because of social media, because of YouTube, I'm able to learn what the people going to MIT are learning. So that's the benefit also of, of social media. At the same time, if you see like TikTok and all, they're just overboarding you with the information. You don't need a lot of information in your life. You don't need those things. A lot of, lot of things we're just scrolling and we're thinking we, we are learning, but actually we're not learning anything. If you see on Instagram or TikTok, anything, just, it's just scrolling and just feeding your mind. But after five minutes, you will forget. You will not remember anything. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Imran, for your opinion. Uh, move to the Ms. Taranga. You can open your mic right now. Yes. Um, thank you, Mr. Grace, for your for the opportunity given to me. Uh, when it comes to systematic learning, I suppose that um, formal education from um, your high school, from kindergarten even to the uh, tertiary education like a university, I think uh, they have more uh, beneficial impact um, in uh, education than social media because as I said it's more uh, systematic right they give us um, basic knowledge about a certain um, insights issues uh, to the advanced one so I think uh, it will more uh, beneficial uh, to follow and to join that's why uh, formal education is very important to um, to to follow and to uh, enjoy um, by a lot of people. Um, however, it doesn't mean that uh, social media uh, is bad for gaining a plethora of education. I think um, when uh, when we know the advantages, the benefits of the advancement of technologies, like like uh, what has been said by uh, the people, by the speakers uh, previously, I think uh, we need to be uh, we need to make our uh, social media. Um, more productive than uh, than before. For example, uh, me personally, even though, uh, yeah, I, I do agree with uh, what has been said by Mr. Sunshine. Um, social media is like uh, giving us random things, right? We can we can observe from the advanced one even to the uh, basic one. But once we know the uh, this point, I think we need to make our social be social media more productive. Uh, me personally, I, I have been, uh, I have unfollowed, uh, unfollowed friends, like they always uh, show um, or share hoax news or bad news or other unproductive things, unproductive things like uh, dancing and whatever. So I unfollow them. Um, on the other hand, when they are productive and can. Um, support me in my education, for example, like um, schoolers and other um, professors, for example, yeah, I do follow them uh, in order to uh, make my environment better, uh, good, and uh, and so on. Yes, that's my point. And I, I would like to um, convey a question to everyone because I guess that uh, we don't need to separate uh, between social media and education. Uh, I mean, the benefits of social media and education. We need to uh, unite them because uh, we, we, we can't reject the social media because uh, social media is the advancement of technology. It is a uh, cutting edge that we need to uh, adapt with, that we need to uh, acknowledge. So uh, my question to all of you is how to separate, or uh, sorry, how to unite the advantages or the benefits of social media and also our education. Probably uh, some people can uh, respond. Thank you, Ms. Gersh. Can, can I speak? Okay, thank up? you, Mr. Okay, Ms. Indre, uh, Mr. Indre, you can uh, open your mic right now. Yeah, so uh, I will go to the answer uh, regarding to Mr. Anga question last time. But before that, uh, related to our questions today, social media has educated more than me, my school was. So I suppose that it all can be true, but sometimes in other hand, it can be wrong sometimes because we have to see on how Indonesian, especially the society of Indonesia 
trying to utilize the social media to become the beneficial of them, uh, or to become the disadvantages of them. Yeah, for for uh, for example, uh, how the society in Indonesia trying to filter the several statement of the several news that coming from the social media that related with uh, Indonesian today, we still a lack of literacies that become still become the big problem of Indonesia. Yeah, we still low in the literacy. Only two cities that uh, got the medium in the literacy that is Jakarta and the second one is Yogyakarta. And in other cities of Indonesia, there's still lack of literacies that make it, it is become a problem for Indonesia. So, um, so this is the reasons that uh, the, the several people in Indonesia, when they got the news, when they got the information in, in the social media, they sometimes trying to take that information directly and take them as the reference. And they don't try to find another references how to make them will be strong in their opinion. So people trying to lead Indonesia and get the misunderstanding when they uh, really fast to believe regarding the several informations that blow up in the social media. One of the example that coming from um, the situation in 2020 when uh, Indonesians yeah, get the big a massive in the demonstration because of the government want to legalize the omnibus law. Many come, many kind of information comes in in uh, in, uh, in the meantime that make Indonesian trying to oppose their government even though the government give the positive side of that. And right now, the several people, because they, uh, the several of them has been un understand regarding the beneficial of the omnibus law that make them uh, time by time will agree with that. And, but back then, however, we, we got a commission. <laughs> that situation. Lagi dan lagi uh, yeah, Indonesia still, uh, <laughs> still, uh, still lack of, berani. Still, uh, berani, uh, I will Ku first time, baby, ma. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Uchi. Can you uh, unmute your uh, your your mic first because uh, Mr. Kibo is so Miss Uchi, can you unmute your can you mute your mic first? Okay. Yeah, so I'll like to continue. So this is the reasons that Indonesian still not ready. If social media, we can take them as the beneficial. One of the biggest homework of the government today, how to make Indonesia really uh, can stand yeah, higher in their literacies. So uh, regarding that situation, the government has understood that Indonesia has the lack of uh, literacies that make the government trying to restrict yeah, with the several uh, constitution is like they, they're trying to legalize ITE, yeah, Undang Undang ITE, they're trying to legalize or restrict the several, uh, give a limited for the several cities that, uh, that uh, yeah, for example, it's like Papua back then, yeah, when the, the situation of Java, yeah, trying to, um, what, um, discriminate Papuan in Surabaya last time, how to make the Papuan will not get uh, the, the hoax news back then, they try to restrict, they try to limit internet or the information to Papua coming from the social media. And the second, they're trying to use uh, the security with the with the uh, ITE, but I suppose that it doesn't work too because of uh, the several um, the several situation that make Indonesia uh, live with democracy, but in other hand, because of the ITE, it'll make Indonesia as, uh, as, uh, as the countries that doesn't support the democracy. So it will uh, try to produce such as um, the big contra between the government also with uh, the society. So if back to Mr. Anga's question back then, how to make Indonesian can, the, can take beneficial or can take uh, the advantages of the social media itself, we have to increase our literacy as the first, um, as the first big deities of the government nowadays, we have to like to read. Yeah, this is my opinion. Okay, 
Thank you a lot, Mister, for your opinion. That was a great opinion, and uh, it uh, it answer also the Mister Anga questions before. And because of the limitation of time, I will next to the next statement because there is still two statement that we have to discuss, and this is the five uh, the fifth statement. It says that children under the age should not be allowed to use social media. Okay, I will maybe I will pick like uh, three three people uh, three people to speak about this statement. Uh, how about the Mister Ku? Are you still there? Mister yes, Ku. Okay. Yes. Can you give us yes. point about this statement? Okay, children under the age should be allowed to use social media. Yeah. Uh, since because now I I company the children who is doing the activity by using the social media. Of course, when we give them the phone, we have to guide them. But when we we can guide them like, clearly, it it will be perilous for them. Why? Because when we when they join in their own language. They commonly just attend in the the class, but they don't pay any attention to the teachers or the tutors. And afterwards, when I when they have got the attendance, they will left in the in the class, and they will say that the connection is unstable. But on the other hand, they are playing game or they opened uh, another apps in order to. Uh, be van for their life. So this is uh, the problem that I find in in this case about the children under the age should not be allowed to use the social media because when we can control them, I mean the, the there is no is it network between the teachers and the family of course we can control them it's like when we when they joined in the school the teachers can handle them directly but we, when the online school the teachers can handle the students obviously so we need to collaborate with the we need to collaborate between the teachers and the students. This is what I, my, my anxiety about, about it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ku. How about your opinion, Mr. Adnes? Hello, Mr. Adnes, do you still there? Are you still there? Okay, please uh, give, give your opinion about this statement. Mr. Adnes, do you still there? Do you still there? I think Mr. Adnes uh, has a bad, has a trouble in connection. Uh, actually, we cannot hear your voice, Mr. Okay, I will move to the Miss Miss Olivia because uh, we cannot hear uh, something from Mr. Adnes. I think uh, he has a trouble. Miss Agnes is a woman. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Miss Ad Adnes. Just to tell you. Thank you, uh, Miss yeah. Olivia. Yeah, in my perspective, children under the age really should not be allowed to use social media. Um, nowadays, I know that, yeah, despite of all of the benefits of education that we get for free by using social media, but for children under age, they don't have any filter that is quite uh, protective for them not to get the wrong, like the wrong, news or the wrong information or maybe the, some of the dangerous or 18 plus information that they still not ready to accept that 
and to know about that like especially when we are like getting a sexual explicit content that actually nowadays it easily can be found by some 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 of the tricky trick that is not really difficult so it's really harmful for us to let the children under age to use like the smartphone and browsing through go through the internet to looking for the information like there's so many so many harmful things that can be seen in in, in internet and when our children has not been ready and still not have their mind uh the, the right mindset to filter any of those dangerous things that can be found better that they they are not allowed to use internet thank you miss thank you miss olivia for your opinion uh miss atnes can you open your mic right now maybe you you, you can uh, try first Hello, Ms. Adnet. Okay, I think you have a connectivity issue because we you already opened your mic, but we didn't hear your voice. Okay, uh, I will move to the next uh, statement. This is the last statement because the limitation of time. And okay, this is the the last statement. Society will thrive better without social media. You can raise your hand to respond this statement, please. Okay, if there is no one, we will uh, we'll raise her hand. Uh, Miss Agnes, it seems that you are open your mic, but we can hear your voice, actually. Uh, I will ask Mr. Kibo to respond this statement, please, Mr. Yeah, uh, thank you. So this is a uh, tough question, basically, but everything that better to ourselves, it depends on how we are able to manage our time, how we can uh, deal with the several informations that come out from that uh, social media, how how we can compare regarding one reference to another reference that make us will be avoided by the hoax news. So this this is the essential thing. However, social media never make us uh, go to um, the bad situation if we can manage it well so this is my opinion <laughs> thank you okay thank you mr kibo is there anyone is there anyone want to uh, respond this this statement please raise your hand okay mr imran please open your mic to speak about this i feel like since uh, now, now social media has like has been deep in, integrated deeply in our life like since since the facebook came and then instagram and all so it's kind of hard to imagine a life without social media like uh, because of social media like if there was no social media i would not be in this group because i wouldn't know how, there would be no kind of uh, resource to talk to people living in other country I would never. I would have never learned Indonesian, and I, we would have never met and we are never discussing this topic. So I guess social media is now a kind of need. I mean, it's really good platform. It lets you connect the people beyond boundaries. You don't have any boundaries. You can connect with anybody. You can learn from anybody uh, and, and share with anybody. So it's a. Uh, like really great platform, whatever whoever made it has made with good intentions, and now it's up to us uh, how we are using the how we are using it. We are using it for betterment, for connecting people, for meaningful activities, or we just can. Uh, uh, a lot of people they use social media to cheat with cheat with each other, like scam, ask money, scam, or harass online. 
So it all depends on how you're using it. But at the end, I said, for now, society needs social media. It's kind of a need now. And like, if I don't have friends here in my neighborhood, so if there's no social media, I will just be studying and watching and talking to my wall. So it, it's a need now. So yeah, society cannot stay without social media now, I guess. So no. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Imran. Okay, for the last uh, people uh, who want to respond to this statement, please. Read. Okay, Mr. Chikoneng, you can open your mic. Okay, um, perhaps for this last question, we are living in disruption era and this awesome disruption era happened because of the advantages or the advance of technology. So we change our behavior and also we, for example, like I mentioned before, perhaps in the past we cannot um, figure out what we will be in the next future. For example, like playing game gets money. <laughs> in the past, it's impossible and never happened. But nowadays it happened. So it's a proof how social media can create a place that limited before. Albeit on the other hand, many researchers, uh, many researchers say uh, based on the book that it's time for the police people tell everything. Because in social media, we cannot filter everything and we only accept that. Albeit we are literacy on that. Uh, it's time for police people to tell everything without a data. But in the other hand, it is a time in the place who isn't limitless. So every single uh, news article and also is open and available for the human who intend on. So let's create your personality and your intention to be what will you be in the future? And what is um, what is that? The fraud? fraud productive activities that you will maintain so social media we cannot deny it but by social media we can unite it okay thank, thank you. you mr chikoning for your opinion uh this is actually this is the last presentation this is the last uh, statement and thank you for all of your opinion guys i think you are really really great uh, and you are amazing because you have a broad knowledge about how to talk about something based on the statement and you have a great opinion about us thing uh, what i want to say in here is like um at the end of the day uh, social media has a have a to it has an impact uh, both sides is like a negative impact and a positive impact. It depends on the people who want to thrive better. I mean, who want to uh, use the positive impact for their life. Okay. I think uh, that's from me. Thank you for your active participation for this uh, night session, for this discussion session. I really appreciate your all of your opinion and all of your response to the statement. And I'm so sorry if I have a mistake, uh, uh, I mean, like a wrong, wrong pronunciation or anything like that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, Miss Grace. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for Miss Grace that has, uh, has moderated us, especially for um, our delightful topic this, uh, this evening. And yeah, I would like to give the several vocabularies that have, that uh, that's created by the several people here. Jadi ada beberapa vocab-vocab yang lumayan sulit ya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jujur, saya udah lama juga nggak belajar bahasa Inggris, praktiskan bahasa Inggris. So thank you so much, guys. You are still in this uh, community, exactly. So this is the function of this community. It's been long. I suppose that the several of you, you are not in party again. So we can learn together by this Zoom meeting. Exactly. Nah, ini ada beberapa vocab ya. Tadi Mr. Sunni ada neglect yang biasa kita menggunakan ignore, artinya mengabaikan. Terus distraction ya, gangguan. Terus savvy, kan biasanya kita menggunakan understand. Terus savvy lebih paham maknanya. Aftermath, akibat. 
Terus uh, juga ini ada beberapa vocab-vocab yang related sama apa ya, lebih formal ya. Gua gua tahu di sini orang-orang IELTS-nya udah jago semua kan tersuni, IELTS-nya udah gila, udah tujuh setengah, Angga udah di kuliah di Australia dan sebagainya di sini. Terus ada Grace di situ yang udah hacking bisnis juga fokus di kampus juga ada Imran from Indian, I suppose that English as uh, as as the second language of you is not the foreign language again so i suppose that uh, you are really active to use that language exactly yeah so this is there are the several vocabularies that you can change yang biasanya uh, basically you, you use this yeah in your speaking but however this is still uh, apa ya non formal di situ nah biasanya kalau dalam IELTS atau dalam forum yang lebih formal Uh, sebaiknya kita menggunakan beberapa vocab-vocab yang uh, bisa teman-teman gunakan dalam situasi formal ya. For example, also you can change with additionally di situ anyway, nevertheless. Terus juga ada kata apa? Uh, get ya, kita menggunakan receive, get, uh, obtain juga. Terus juga needs, require. Terus uh, totally atau tell gunakan kata inform dan sebagainya. Ini ada beberapa vocabularies. That is really common that you you use especially in your speaking, yeah. And, and the several of them still informal. So if you want to change and you are, want to speak uh, in IELTS, yeah, you, you have to change that several vocabularies that you have right now in the informal to be a formal exactly. And uh, after this, I will uh, try to uh, send in the groups, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for a uh, nice discussions today. Thank you so much for Miss Grace uh, has uh, given delightful topic for us that make us can practice again. And also for all of you guys, this place is not for a uh, show off. We are learning together. Kita belajar bersama-sama di sini. Kita belajar bahasa Inggris kita. Kalau ada yang salah saling ingatin. Kalau ada yang kurang bisa dikasih saran dan sebagainya. And uh, I suppose that all of us can speak English well. That's all for this evening. The, uh, the last I say, hello, Ota. Yesterday. Yesterday, we say tomorrow. Say tomorrow. tomorrow. Taking picture together first. Yes. Yes. Right. Let's take a picture. I almost forget. almost forgot. Okay. Show your camera. <laughs> Where is Miss Uchi, Mr. Bob, Mr. Pasha, Agnes, Agnes alias Tama? <laughs> Enak ya, Mak? Yum. Oke, okay, account istri lo, Mak, Mak. Oke, tiga. Oke, okay, Ami. Gak apa ya. Kayaknya yang cewek-cewek nih gak pakai jilbab. Gue tau. Oke, okay, three, two, one, go. Smile. Lagi, lagi, lagi. Tiga, dua, satu. Oke, okay, slide two. Slide three. Ganti gaya, ganti gaya. Slide four. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, thank you. See you, bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you the next. Eh, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Yeah.